Okay. So we're finished with the hot, so we're finished with the soldering iron. What we what we decided to do is uh, use it on the edge of the booster packs on this universal booster. So what we'll do with this is we'll go around it with um, you know uh, scratch marks, clippings, maybe a little bit of rust. And we'll be right on these edges and stuff like this. All this little damage that we did with the uh, soldering iron, that's what we'll do. That's exactly what we'll, we'll, we'll do with that. Added some, of course, onto the Hayaku. Pretty good, pretty good beam marks. Damn camera, pretty, pretty good beam marks. So we'll sit here and we'll, we'll get pretty good beam marks off of this. Did one on the on the edge of the gun also because see what they don't what, what what you have to understand is that these guys are in space, and when they're in space, you don't know what kind of debris is hitting their mobile suits or their Gundam. So there's gonna be debris hitting them. They just can't fly without getting hit by no debris, no matter how big or small. So things are gonna chip away. So like I say. We just run the, the silent iron along the edge just a little bit to make a little mark. And what we'll do is we'll add chipping effects on those marks right there and then probably some kind of rusting effect. So that's what we'll do. So we've got a little bit added here, added here. You've got the bullet holes right there that they are like they even got they are like they got a little bit of rust in it. Then a big shot to the chest and then one right there to the abdomen one right by the snake so we have a little bit of damage going on to the Hayaku thanks to the Saturn now with this the wings the same thing with, with the wings a couple bullet holes these scratches right here is what we're gonna put chipping effects by we put chip, chip, chipping effects by here and then rust also because we know Shar Aznable he's not a half asser not somebody that just half asses his fucking work this guy here is putting in time and when he goes out in the battlefield he is really there to mess stuff up so we're not gonna sit there and have Shar Aznable take a vacation while he's inside a mobile suit it just doesn't happen in the series so added all kind of effects on the wings ran it on the top of the wings a little bit as you can see and this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna add chipping and rust to it chipping and rust into these marks and we just made all kinds of squiggly different marks all kinds of squiggly looking ass marks sometimes the damn phones in sometimes out what the hell does the thing want to do and then we come to the freedom so come to the freedom we see a couple marks pow pow we see a pretty big one right here. Pow. This thing does not want to cooperate. There we go. So now that we see this, got a couple marks on on, on got a couple marks on the leg. That's actually went that's actually got damaged through the leg. Got a couple scratches on the on the skirt. Scratches on the skirt. The arm is messed all kinds of, the, the 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 arms all kinds of messed up. So with the arm So with the arm we got all kinds of scratches and stuff on the arm. So this this is what the arm is looking like. Look, the kind of battle damage on the arm. Stop goddamn going in and out, you piece of shit. So on the arm, we got all kinds of battle damage on the arm. We've even got a beam that went through the shoulder. Didn't hit the thruster or anything, but went through the shoulder armor, bottom part of it. So this is what we're going to be working with. We got the same thing. So this right, this 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 right side of him, uh, of the strike or of this freedom gun, did get messed up pretty bad. And like I say, the thing with it is that we also went and we also we also went over the decals with the soldering iron. Uh, so we went ahead and got the edges of the decal with the soldering iron, 
and also went on the, on the, and made a couple bolt holes with the side of nine. Put a couple more decals. And this arm is messed up, so I'm gonna chip away this arm real good and chip the shit out of this arm. So I'll see you guys in a minute when I do the next step, which is going to be uh, I'm gonna use incense, and I'm going to get powder and material for the feet. We're using the oh. incense. Uh, we're using the incense to add battle damage. So what we do is we light the tip of the incense and then hold it up. Once we hold it up, the tip starts to turn orange. When the tip starts to turn orange. Wherever you want this battle damage at, you knock the tip of it off onto the part, and it will leave some good battle damage. You can't leave it too long, because depending on how hot it is, it will burn through the part if it's plastic. So we've laid it onto the head, and this is what it's made. Still burning, still burning, still burning. So we can see it melting away at the armor. Even a nice little mark, which is what we want. Put it in the shoulder, and look, I left a nice little hole. This is where we had already went through with the iron, uh, with the side of the iron. So we went ahead, lit the incense, got it real hot, threw it in the hole, and now it actually looks like the breeze is coming out of the hole, kind of like um, gunpowder residue in a way. And we went across this. We, went, we just got it hot, laid it right across this uh, shoulder, and now that mistake that we made with the water decal, uh, with the with the dry decal, you can't even see it anymore. So there we go, we corrected it. So now what we're gonna do next is we have to do this area right here with this leg, and we're gonna have to put it across this shield. That's what we're gonna do next. Orange, and this is what we're gonna do. Just gonna lay it right here. Lay it on it. Now you see it going to work. Now this is gonna to go to work on its own. Just gonna let it sit there. Now you see it melting. I see it melting. Looks like it's melting. I hope that only triggers if you leave broken. So then this will be the damage that we got on the um Shield. We don't want too much. I might do another one. It still got a little bit of orange on it, so it means it's still hot. See, look, look. See the damage. So that's real. That looks like a real shell hit the damn shield. So we're pretty good. We don't need anything else. We're good. And it went right there. So it's 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 like a shell hit the shield and it exploded. And look, battle damage. So this is good. So that's why you, that this is what you want. This is like a, well, the best of this the best outcome of the effect that, that you want when you're using the incense. So now we gotta do the leg because the leg already got popped once. So we're gonna put it across the leg. So I gotta light another incense up and then we're gonna get that leg right there. And then we'll be done with the incense. So got the head. Look, look, there we go, the head. There we go, the shield. There we go, the shoulder. And I did, say, I did another one on his chest. I had to go through the little hole right there. Nice. And once we finish with these, um, incense, make sure you save the um, ash, because once we, we, we do that, we're going to use the ash for the bottom of the feet. We're going to use the ash for the bottom of the feet. We'll put rust and stuff and mud effects and use the ash with it to make it look like dried up mud. So that's what you do. When you light these incense, make sure you save the ash from them and you put mud effect on the feet and then go ahead and brush the ash on and that'll, and that'll make it look like dried up mud. You look at this right here. You see it turning. You see it turning. And now we're going to lay it right on the leg. And there we go.
So there we go. So now we got some of the um Sure don't. So we're gonna angle it. Whoa! So now look at that armor. You see how the armor right there? How it's bent up and curved now? That's good. That looks awesome. That looks like he might have got popped with a um What's that called? I can't think worth nothing today. A blunt weapon in his leg. Look, now like it there it goes. So this is what we're wanting. You see how it's red? It's gonna leave nice burn damage on the on, on, burn damage on the leg. Nice burn damage. And then we take it up and now look. It looks like he got hit with a blunt weapon, doesn't it? I didn't have to do anything to that. Nothing. Look at this. That's perfect. Let me get the two pick. Perfect. Look at this. Perfect. You, you see this? Look. Be Done. Left. Done. Be Done. So let's, let's see. And look at this. Look, look. Come on. You can't tell me that's not good. So you use the instant. So now I'm done with the instant me uh, method. So guys, I'll be back later. I'm going to go. Sh I'm going to shade him. And then after that, I'll do the weathering. So, uh. Thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.